To finish up, we're going to import some 3D models into Model Viewer. Currently, Model Viewer supports OBJ files. The best way to attain these files is via Trimble SketchUp. Most of the models that we will be using were downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse and exported via SketchUp as an OBJ file. The first object we're going to import is the toilet block, which will be inserted onto the pad we created earlier. The elevations of the toilet block will be matched to our design model, so if vertical changes are made, then our toilet block will also update. The easiest way to move and rotate the object is by using the object manipulator. You can use this tool by first selecting the object and then right clicking the mouse. At the car park, we will use the same process to add a vehicle and we will also add some footy posts on the oval. Objects can also be imported by referencing an alignment. We're going to import some trees that are inserted at an offset from the car park access alignment. We can select the chainage range, offset and ins insertion interval. Our trees will be matched to the NS surface. Labels can be inserted into Model Viewer. And these labels can be set up to reference design data such as elevations, level difference and changes. In this example, we will add a label to show the level at the building pad. The contents of this label will update as changes are made. And using label styles, we can customise font, font colour and background fill. Finally, we're going to output a flyover of our model. This can be achieved by using the record video command. To create the flyover, we create snapshots around the model. These are saved views which can be named. When creating the video, the software will interpolate a path between these snapshots. At each snapshot, a pause value can also be set. This command is also useful for saving named views because the viewing model viewer will update when a snapshot is selected from the list. The create video command can now be used to output an AVI file of the flyover. We have created a fully dynamic design model that will update as changes are made. To demonstrate this, I'm going to adjust the horizontal geometry of the car park as I do so, we will see the rendered model also update in Model Viewer. Thank you for watching this video series on Model Builder and Model Viewer in Civil Site Design.